close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left Hey friends, welcome to my channel for another video and if you're new here, then welcome. Today I hit 500 subscribers and I'm so excited. This was the most requested video to share with you guys and it is a renovated house tour. A lot of you guys did not know my house was built in the 70s and it showed when we moved in. So we did a lot of updates, a lot of repairs, tons of renovations and you guys are going to see it all because I'm going to show you some before pictures while I walk through the house with you guys. Before I hop into today's video, make sure to give this a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Let's get started guys. So to begin with, right where I'm standing here in my beautiful Crocs, there used to be a tree right here. So kind of windy out. Hopefully my dress does not blow up in the wind. But there also used to be a tree right here where you can see the tree stub. So that's pretty cool. There also used to be tons and tons of bushes and stuff. So those are gone. All right guys, so that's it. Let's go ahead and walk through it. Let's get started. Pacing back and forth, oh, I don't understand why you're standing right here. All your shots have scored, no, scratching at the scars you left on my skin. But we fight and we fall and we rise through it all till we find what we want and we lose it all again. Good morning, guys. Okay, so these wooden pieces are original to the house. This used to be a cream color, uh, more like a yellow actually. We painted over them white. And then the stairs used to be like a beige slash brownish type of carpet. Um, so we completely replaced the carpet as well. And then if you look down, you'll see this floor was not what it used to be. It actually used to look like this. So you can see the different colored slate that was in here, um, but it went all the way back here. Um, this door is actually what all the doors in the house used to look like. We kept this one. I thought it looked really nice. It's a garage door, so who really cares? No one really sees it. Um, but this is new. This used to be gold. This trim used to be brown. And these hooks are obviously new. We put these in here, um, but the light, plate, um, light switch plate, this, these all used to be like yellowish. Um, you can tell, if you've seen my videos before, you can tell that the light switches themselves look very old because they are, they're very old. Um, so we picked this paint color for the entire house. You'll see as I show you the before pictures that every room was a different color. Every room had a different flooring and every room was a different color. So, these doors used to be just like the garage door, like a brown, super glossy, um, with a gold handle. So we got completely new doors for all of the doors in the house besides the garage door and the front door and the back doors. Um, but all of them got painted white with a silver handle. So we did some updates to this bathroom right here. This all used to look like this. So, there used to be like a brown gold, I don't know, tile looking thing right here around this. So we changed this to look just like the one in the kitchen, the white sub tile. And the, this is original to the house. I don't know if this is an actual original to the house, but it was the previous owner's bathroom set up here. So we didn't change anything like that. We did obviously paint the walls in here. Flooring is just like it is throughout the rest of the main floor of our house. Alright guys, so if you stand right here, there used to be a wall. So you can take a look at the picture for reference, but this is what it used to look like in here. Crazy, right? Lots of 70s charm. But this used to be like a spindle wall. It used to have like it could be a half wall with spindles, um, and this vent that's right here was actually in the wall. So we had to take the vent out and replace it, I'm sorry, 
put a placement one in the floor right here um, so that we could create more of an open concept because we really loved the house um, but it was very closed off. I mean that was a 70s thing to be to have more privacy. Now it's you want a lot of uh, open floor so we did the best we could with what we had and we just loved the house so much um, but we took that wall out completely that's why it's not here obviously so looking at this room as a whole this floor used to be like a very light brown um, vinyl or uh, laminate flooring and the walls I cannot remember what color they were I think they might have been green um, and the fireplace was a red fireplace, red brick fireplace, with a gold fire insert. Um, there was no shelf units or anything like that. Um, and these doors back here, they used to be yellow. So, it, this, this room alone took a big, giant hit facelift, if you will. Um, but this used to serve as their old family room. I'll show you guys what it used to look like right now. This is what it used to look like. So this is what we had to work with when we moved in here. Um, Want to take a quick minute and focus your attention on the lighting in here. We removed all of the ceiling fans and all of the very, very dim yellow light fixtures and we replaced them all with recessed lighting. It's been amazing. You can see here we also added a dimmer switch. So. The lights get dim and they go up. It's amazing. I love this room so much. But here's what we did in this room and I've loved it ever since. This, this room has served a couple different purposes. When we first moved in, we used it as our dining room. I was obsessed with the idea of having my dining room table in here with the fireplace and the TV. I thought it was perfect. We actually did use it for two and a half years just like that. Um, and then recently, this year, we moved our dining room table over there, which you'll see in just a second if you haven't seen my house and you haven't seen the cleaning videos. You probably know where everything is by now, but um, it just became more practical and functional for us to have a designated play area and just another family room in general to, um, for Milo. So, you guys can see we made this area a playroom for him and that's literally what we call it because we don't have a loft in this house and we don't have a fourth bedroom so there's nothing that we could really do to create more of a playroom for him so this is where it's at also there's a family room right here so if we have any family gatherings or anything we don't have to meet in our informal living room we can meet in more of a cozier general general generally more clean area than it is in there with all the baby toys and all of the other stuff that's usually in there so that is the majority of what we did to facelift this area. So this floor used to be a white tile floor. So if you're catching the drift, you're catching it right. That used to be a multicolored slate floor. That used to be a light wooden laminate flooring. And this used to be a white tile. So already we have three different kinds of flooring just down on the main floor. So this is what it looked like before we started any renovations at all. The window over here, this used to be brown. It's obviously not the window itself, but the trim around it used to be brown, and I do believe there was curtains here at one time, but they did not leave those for us. Yes, they did. They did leave those for us. They were little, um, oh, what do you call them, like half curtains? They were quite 70s galore, so we took those down and replace them with the white sheer curtains. So if you guys look down here toward my feet, you will notice these vents. All of them used to be a dark brown. So we spray painted all of them white. Also, I forgot to mention throughout the rest of the house, any baseboard that you see as well used to be brown. And that's all been completely replaced and white. So you can probably tell we love white pretty much everything. So this is the basement door. Used to be brown glossy just like the rest with the gold handle. Now it's got a silver handle. Been completely replaced with a white door. These used to be gold. This used to be yellow. I mean, guys, it's just, it was a 70s dream house when we moved in. So we changed a lot. So out of all the rooms in the house, this is the one I'm most excited to show you guys because there was a lot done. 
behind me. So right where I'm standing, actually, I moved back a couple feet, there was a counter. So the kitchen was kind of like here, and then it stopped, and then it went out like that. Okay, there was no island. The floor was that white tile that was in the dining room. So this was not there. This was not here. The fridge actually was right here. And this little dip. And it had a wall right beside it. So it was the pantry, the fridge, and the wall. And then there was like this little awkward corner space where they kept like a potato bin or something. Um, there was a giant light fixture on the ceiling right here. Um, it was super yellow. It was very dim in this house. I cannot even remember what color the walls were. I think it was yellow. Yeah, I think it was yellow. If you come on over here to my pantry, um, we kept the sh original shelving in here, um, but we completely painted the inside of it white, the trim white, and we never put a door on it. It's, it's worked perfectly for us. Um, our dog doesn't get in here and get food, however, we are uh, on the verge of having a toddler who already is making his way into here to get snacks for himself whenever he pleases. So we're probably going to have to get a door soon. But for right now, we don't have a door. We've never had a door on this because we took the original one off and we threw it away. So that's that. There was never any backsplash on these walls. We put all of the subtitle backsplash in and these cabinets used to be dark brown. So we painted all of the cabinets white. They used to have a gold <laughs> fixture, uh, like a handle on them. We changed them to silver. Um, those cabinets up there, same thing. We had to do a little bit of a different, if you look really closely, you can tell the white is not quite the same color because they are completely, they're completely new cabinets up there. We had to take the old ones completely out. They were not functional like we wanted them to be. So these countertops used to be like your standard glazed over like wooden <laughs> countertops. We really, really, really wanted white and we went with quartz. So I absolutely love our counters. They are wonderful. They are so grand and they have these little black textured marks in them. I just think they're perfect. So if you get dirt on them, it's not like it's overly noticeable because of the black marks. So um, we got all new appliances for our house. So the fridge was new, um, the dishwasher was new, the stove was new, um, all of that. Also, I do believe we kept the original to the house for this particular item. This sink used to be a silver two separated like like your standard kitchen sink. I wanted this white farmhouse sink. I knew immediately I wanted it in this kitchen and we were able to find such a great deal on eBay I believe. It was amazing. So I got my farmhouse sink and I've loved it ever since. I've never regretted buying this. So the island it's completely new, obviously, because it wasn't here when we moved in. We just got like a regular old, I think these are actually two different cabinets, um, like put together. We got one slab of quartz countertop put on top of it. And then if you look over here on the back of these, this was actually, you could see the separation of the two cabinets. So um, my father-in-law put in this big white board and some siding over here so that you couldn't see the separation and you really cannot even tell at all. Um, and then obviously the flooring used to be the white tile flooring, now it's the brown uh, wooden vinyl flooring that I put in down here. This desk was not here, like I said, this was the fridge. So this is a floating desk and the idea was actually, I just love the way it looked, if I'm being honest with you. It's not very functional in our house. Like when I'm doing recipes and looking at recipes and stuff, I do come up over here pretty often, so I guess in that way it's functional. But I never actually usually sit at this desk and do, do a whole lot of stuff. Um, but it has come in handy and I do love it. It's got a charging port, so we're good to go with this. Now that I've explained to you guys all the different things that have changed about the kitchen, I want you to see it for yourself because this is what it used to look like. You got it, guys. Lots of brown, lots of yellow, super dim, 
Floor was white, tile. The only thing white about the house was the floor. Sorry, I didn't find a device named Yellow Superfloor. So anyway, <laughs> Woo. Um, the only thing white in this house was the white flooring, which I'm not a fan of. So there's that. It went. It's gone. Bye bye. All right. So now on to the living room. So first things first, we really wanted to open up this wall here, but we unfortunately could not because this is a supporting wall to the home, so we couldn't get rid of it. Um, so it's still there. However, the color of this room has changed, um, and you will see that in a second because I'm going to show you a before picture. This room used to be carpet, so you heard it right. Four different floorings on not a whole lot of space. So. We had a slate flooring, a laminate wood flooring, a white tile flooring, and in here was a carpet. The carpet was the same carpet that was on the stairway, so that beige kind of yellowish color. Um, and it was like a long, shaggy carpet, so uh, that had to go. So we got rid of that. We replaced all the flooring down here with the uh, vinyl, dark, hardwood look type of feel, and we used to have a small rug here uh but since then we've gotten a dog and a baby so we had to get a bigger rug naturally the windows just like in all the rest of the house these used to be dark brown um the baseboards used to be brown the vents used to be brown all of it used to be brown i do believe this was possibly a yellow or a green painted wall you can see up here, we replaced these with recessed lighting as well in here. Um, and this is also on a dimmer switch, so this works perfectly for nights when we want to watch a movie, have a little bit of light but not a whole lot of light, or leave a little bit of light on for Lewis if we're going somewhere late at night, or what have you. Um, this wall stayed up. All the trim around the stairs here. We used to be a dark brown, and I do believe that's pretty much the majority of what changed in this room. Not a whole lot we were able to change, just given the space and what we were doing with it. Um, I did want to point out that this is a new love of mine. My in-laws actually found this, I believe, in their attic, and they were going to throw it out and I was like, no, I want it. So it's going to be painted white eventually and it's going to be like a cute little bench. But for now, I still think it's just charming. It's cute. Um, and then this sign, I believe, will go somewhere else. Um, but for now, I want to put it up because it's super cute and I love it. Um, and then I just keep my guitar here for easy access when I'm going to my lessons and just put it on my back and go out the door. Um, and we also keep some storage down here for Lewis's stuff and various items, coupons and candles, stuff like that. If you look back here, right about, actually if you look up really, really close, you zoom in here, you can actually see a line right here, very faint, very faintly, it's right here, and there was a board, like a baseboard, dividing the colors of this room in that space, so um, it was not cute. It was a dark brown baseboard right up the middle of the wall. Uh, to be honest with you, I've never even seen that anywhere else, but we did not like it, so we took it down. So now that I've talked all about what this room used to look like and what it looks like now, now you guys get to see it for yourself. So take a look for yourself and see how it used to look. Yeah, guys! Super fun. This is actually what it looked like a little bit before we moved in, so prior ownership, and this is what it looks like now. Forgive us, we're all quarantined, so we're all in the house together today, um, so there's going to be a little bit of background noise for this one, but I really wanted to take the time to show you guys what our bathroom looks like up here because there was a lot we did to our bathroom because this is the only one that we have. This is the only full bath we have in the entire house. So this cabinet right here is a baby. 
This cabinet right here is what the previous owner had. Same with the mirror over here and same with the sink and toilet and all of that good stuff. Over here we did keep the original tub and shower combination thing, um, but we obviously replaced this. We painted the walls, we added this hook. These little wonderful cabinets right here. These cabinets right here, super 70s, might I just add. Um, this is our cabinet storage and these used to be yellow, so we spray painted them white. This used to be brown. I can't even remember what color the wall was here. The flooring is what changed the most. So in this, it used to be way different, and you're gonna get to see exactly what I mean in just one second. Obviously, the door used to be brown, it used to be glossy, this used to be dark brown, that used to be gold. There was so much in here that was not good. <laughs> but on the same hand, there was so much in here that was good because we kept a lot of it, um, but we just changed I feel like we just did a lot of changing and the flooring in here was just such a pain in the butt to get up off the floor. So I do believe we had to order a special tool to get some of the flooring in this house up. Like we had to order one and rent one from a hardware store. It was that bad. So overall, this is what it looks like now and this is what it used to look like. So it was super dark if you couldn't tell. The light's been fixed in here. It was super dark before. The flooring was weird. I don't even know. It was another tile, but it was a different tile than the one downstairs. I don't know why there were so many different floorings in this house, but that's just the way it was. Alright guys, beyond the rest of the house, this room got changed so much. Okay, this used to be an, an office slash miscellaneous room for the previous owner. Then we moved in here and then it became our office slash miscellaneous room. And it was always a mess. It just had so much junk in it all the time. And then baby Milo came along and now this is his room. Um, so this is our nursery. Um, and just so much stuff got updated. I'm getting ready to show you actually right now what this room used to look like. So as you can tell, you cannot even tell that it is the same room. They had some weird mountain sponge painting on this wall. It, the whole wall, the whole room was a like dark baby blue is how I would say it. I, I think it's the same color as these curtains over here. Um, forgive me for the lighting in here. It's not that great. Usually it's really sunny out. You can't tell right now it's thunderstorming here where we are. So um, this is the weather we're working with and I think it sounds amazing and I'm just, I'm at peace with it really. <laughs> this wall is actually pretty new um, to this room within the last year um, because as we were getting ready for Baby Milo, I really love the idea of having a white ship lap wall in the nursery. I thought it was just gonna add so much charm to the nursery and I think it really did. It's, it's awesome. I love it so much. Obviously there's different furniture in here because there's a baby now, and there's no desk in here, there's no nothing like that. Um, so beyond that, the carpet in here, all the carpet upstairs is the same type of carpet as, as on the stairs. So it's like a very mild gray with a little bit of white mixed in with it. Um, so this is what it looks like down here. And this used to be like a brown type of color. Not real cute at all. The closet area has changed a lot as well. So this used to be like one brown shelf right here and then brown shelves like on the sides. It was really weird. So there was nothing down here. It's just like your standard closet. And there was sliding brown glossy doors like the rest of the house had. They were on all the closets as well. Those have since been removed and we have replaced them with curtains. Um, this entire built-in was built by my dad um, for the nursery and obviously is new to the room as of probably April of 2019. This door, same thing, used to be brown glossy with a gold fixture. Um, all of the pulls up here for it, all of the curtains used to be like black. It was so weird. They had such a weird scheme. On the wall, I'm not really sure if you can see it. But like around here, you can really see where the wall was really damaged. 
um, before we got here. We tried to like sand it out, but especially like around the light switch there, you can really start to see like where the wall was damaged. A lot of this room looks like that, unfortunately. Especially that wall behind the shiplap wall was just really damaged. Um, you would never be able to tell this, but for the longest time, this room actually had an entire chunk of wall um, removed. <laughs> it was missing for a long time. When we got here, we kind of wanted to go in and paint everything and update everything. And uh, my father-in-law actually found quite a bit of mold back here in the wall. So we com completely replaced this entire piece of drywall and all of the filling between that and the actual exterior of the house. Um, so, got all of that out of here. Um, again, this window was dark brown, just like the rest of the windows. Um, and, obviously, these are amazing blackout curtains for when Mr. takes a nap because we don't want any light showing through them. So, yeah, guys. I really didn't imagine it ever looking this wonderful, but I just absolutely love this room. It's one of my favorite rooms in the house. Um, one, because it's Muffin's bedroom, um, and I just love that he has a cozy, fun, safe environment to play in, to sleep in, and all that good stuff. Um, but I just also think it looks like something from Pinterest, which I'm never able to actually do. So, yeah, there's the nursery, guys. Alright guys, that was it for my house tour. Thank you again for helping me hit 500 subscribers. If you're new here, I hope you join the family. Subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it on your social media platforms. That always helps my channel out. And let me know which room in this house looked the most different and which one you liked the most. I'll see you guys in my next video.